Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will continue to work on the BLE. Today uh, we will discuss the profiles, what are the profiles we will see. And uh, uh, this is the starting tutorial from where we have to understand how the data is transferred uh, from the central device to the peripheral. So uh, let's start the profiles in the BLE. So today I'm going to introduce the profile we will see what are the standard profiles and what are custom profiles. So let's get started. So remember one thing, whenever I say slave, slave device, peripheral device or server, they all mean that it's going to be our device that we are programming right now, which is NRF52832 or the NRF52840. So it will be the device that we are programming and this device is basically the peripheral device or the slave device and uh, sometimes I would say server or sometimes I would say slave or uh, sometimes I would say peripheral device so it, they all mean the same uh, while if we go on the second line look here uh, the master master device client or client device or central device whatever I say they all mean uh, we are going to connect with the master device which is uh, in our cases would be our mobile phone or uh, it could be uh, another NRF52832 or NRF52840 it can be anything but you need to understand that slave devices all of these terminologies are same while all of these uh, terminologies on the other hand are the same okay so that's it now let's start talking about the profiles what is a profile in BLE? So Bluetooth is a set of protocols as everybody know and uh, it's a standardized uh, a set of protocols to implement the wireless uh, data communication. If we define a profile it's just an application logic okay uh, there is nothing else in it it's just an application logic and we are going to uh, understand how the profiles work in the BLE because there are some standard profiles and custom profile we will check on them later on so a profile is on the application layer and it defines what types of applications are possible with the connecting BLE devices. Here the connecting devices uh, are our devices that we are programming uh, which can, might be NRF52832 or NRF52840. Uh, the profiles are divided into two categories. The first one is the standard profile and the second one is the custom. First thing we need to understand is all of our application is in the profile so let's say this is the profile so our application will exist inside the profile and uh, the profile would contain different types of services like service 1 service 2 up to service n for example uh, the profile we can consider it as a type of a shop for example if you go out and you see a mobile phone shop so what would be the first thing uh, that would uh, come in your mind. It would be easy like uh, it's a, a mobile phone shop so they would be selling some mobile phones and their accessories. So profile in is in the same term is the name of the shop or the name of the application or uh, whatever you want to say it's going to provide all the applications logic. So that is uh, simply a profile. I have defined it, I have tried to define it in my own way to make it uh, to simplify it so that uh, the newcomers or the beginners they can understand what is a profile there is nothing too complicated about, about the profiles it's just simple a uh, shop uh, for the mobile phones is going to uh, sell all the mobiles and accessories so they would have different services for example they might have the repairing service they might have the selling of new and old devices the mobile phones and they might have uh, accessories re related to mobile phones. That is what uh, our profile would look like in simple terms. So let's see what is a standard profile. So let's see what are the standard profiles. The profiles which are specified by the group which manages the Bluetooth protocol called SIG as I have mentioned it before. So if you haven't seen my tutorials uh, from uh, uh, the tutorial number 40 and uh, onwards uh, kindly see those uh, tutorials in order to understand what 
uh, are these things that I'm talking about right now. These profiles are predefined specifications uh, for implementing different applications. For example, we have a heart rate profile which is called HRP, uh, which defines, sorry, which describes everything including what services to be included and what characteristics to be included, what things are mandatory and what things are optional. So, etc. All of these things are mentioned in the profiles. Uh, these standard profiles can be accessed uh, on this website. If you go on this website, you are going to uh, get these standard profiles. So, there are more profiles like BPP, which is basic printing profile. There is a CPP, which is cycling power profile. There is a HID, which is human interface device and uh, device profile and uh, then we have DTP which is device time profile, HTP which is health thermometer profile and there are many more you can see there is a list of uh, a lot of profiles uh, which are defined on this website and uh, you can just download these specifications and then you can implement all the code according to these standard profiles and you can just follow and uh, make the standard applications using the standard profiles. If we select the standard profiles, then our device appearance will be shown in the advertisement packet if we include it. So for example, if I'm using a heart rate uh, profile, then I can use the heart rate as my appearance and then uh, it will be shown in the advertisement packet as well if we include it. Uh, for custom uh, profiles, uh, normally we set the appearance to unknown because the application is uh, customized and it's, it's going to be different uh, compared to the standard profiles. Uh, this unknown appearance uh, doesn't bother us too much while we are coding. We can also include uh, some uh, manufacturer or vendor specific data. If you don't know how to include that, just watch my previous tutorial on that. So we can easily include that uh, manufacturer specific data and then we can perform some things if we want to know something uh, before connecting to the device. So we have so many ways. So it doesn't matter if we include the appearance or not. So let's go to the custom profiles. So what are the custom profiles? A custom profile is one that that's not described by SIG as mentioned before and it is customized to adopt to the new application logic which is not present in the standard profiles. For example, you want to control some motors or LEDs or using the Bluetooth. There is no standard profile. So there is no specification available for these types of uh, applications. So we create some custom services and create a unique application logic which is basically our profile. So this profile would be of unknown appearance as I have mentioned before. So now we have seen uh, about the standard and custom profiles and we know that a uh, profile is the application logic inside which our uh, all of the uh, transmission and receiving will occur and our services and what our device is going to provide uh, will be uh, placed inside the profile. So now let's see in the website and I will uh, mention a little bit about the profile and uh, I will show you how to read the profiles. So here on the desktop, let's just go to the Chrome browser and you just have to go on this uh, website or you can just Google it and uh, you are going to find uh, the Bluetooth specifications. So here, if you see, there are a lot of uh, profiles and services and uh, they are all mentioned here. For example, this is FTP, which is file transfer profile. So here you can see uh, these are active profiles and uh, we can just uh, uh, download them and see uh, all the specifications. Uh, so you just click on this and then you are going to download it. I have already downloaded it. So uh, the fir first I'm going to teach how we are going to read the profile specifications uh, which are important because later we are going to create an application based on the standard profiles. So heart rate uh, profile is the one that we well, I have selected for the tutorial. So we are just going to see how it works. After downloading, uh, this is the heart rate profile that have been downloaded. So let me open it up. This is the heart rate profile. And if we go here on the page five, here we can see everything, all of the table of content. So profile dependencies and uh, all the things are mentioned here, how we are going to configure 
what are the roles, what are the requirements, uh, the collector requirements and uh, the heart rate sensor role requirements. So uh, here one thing to mention that uh, in this heart rate profile our NRF52832 which is the peripheral device or the slave device it's going to be called as heart rate sensor the master device we are going to call it as a collector where are these things mentioned we are just going to go down a bit and here is the introduction so heart rate profile is used to enable data collection to obtain data from heart rate sensor that exposes the heart rate service so it says it's going to use a heart rate service uh, in the next tutorial we will discuss about the services once I explain about the services and the characteristics you're going to understand the complete picture and then you can come back to the profile and the service and then you are going to understand how we are going to implement everything inside our application this uh, profile dependency is on generic attribute profile so we will include that so here are the config uh, configurations and uh, we can see the roles are defined here so heart rate sensor shall be the GAT server and the server as we already know is the slave device and uh, the client is the master or the peripheral uh, sorry master or the central device so the collector will collect the heart rate sensors data through this profile and the profile is the application logic and it would contain two services the first one is the heart rate service the second one is the device information service so we will see what are these later on so right now we just need to see how the profile or the application logic is made uh, by standardized specifications of the applications are uh, defined here the things that we need to see here are the mandatory things uh, which are the heart rate service and device information service so uh, we should be including uh, both of these services. If one of these services is not available, then it's going to cause us uh, uh, some uh, troubles when we are connecting to the devices, the central devices, and they have implemented the standardized heart rate service while we just have defined one service and uh, there is no uh, device information service in our profile. If we see here, we have to include that in the device information service, we have to include the manufacturer name string and here are the collector's role requirements we are not going to see these right now later on once we uh, start working on the master device or the client device we will see how uh, we work on the other side of the bluetooth uh, but right now we are just working on the peripheral so these are not for us for now but later on we will work on them so there are so many things here which are mentioned there are something like <clears throat> Uh, the scan duration, the intervals, these are mentioned, the values are mentioned here. We have to make sure these values are inside these required uh, durations. For example, the scan window for the fast connection uh, should be here 30 milliseconds to 60 milliseconds and scan window should be 30. So uh, these things are mentioned here. So everything, everything regarding our application is mentioned in the profile that's it for uh, this tutorial and i hope so you have learned something new today and if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel and if you haven't watched my previous tutorials and you just landed on this page and you are uh, checking uh, this tutorial uh, watch my previous tutorials to understand everything all the basics about the ble and uh, the people who have supported me through paypal and patreon uh, i really appreciate it thank you very much guys your support has motivated me to keep on working hard on these tutorials and even if you just say thanks and you just give a like to my video that means a lot to me uh, thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video